I'm Mark Krieger, immediate past president of the American Heart Association, and I'm pleased to announce at scientific sessions in New Orleans today the publication of the Peripheral Artery Disease Guidelines for 2016. PAD, a disorder in which peripheral arteries are blocked by atherosclerotic plaque, is a serious medical condition affecting 8.5 million Americans and over 200 million people worldwide. Risk factors for PAD, like in other manifestations of atherosclerosis, include older age, diabetes, smoking, high cholesterol, and high blood pressure. Patients with PAD are at increased risk for cardiovascular events, such as myocardial infarction and stroke, as well as amputation of affected limbs if the condition is not adequately managed. Fortunately, early diagnosis and treatment with exercise and medical therapy can improve and even save lives, and peripheral revascularization in appropriate circumstances can save limbs. And for that reason, we at the American Heart Association are working to improve awareness of peripheral artery disease with a number of sessions at the meeting this year dedicated to disseminating the 2016 PAD guidelines and other recent advances in PAD research. The first session this morning provided a thorough introduction of the new guidelines to practitioners, including an overview of the history of the PAD guidelines, the guideline development process, the recommended diagnostic approach to PAD, and a review of the evidence for various possible treatment approaches. Practitioners familiar with previous iterations of the guidelines will notice that the guidelines support the use of an ankle brachial index test for diagnosis of PAD in patients at increased risk, such as those affected by diabetes or smoke cigarettes, or those over the age of 65. And the use of structured exercise is recommended to improve symptoms and walking capacity. The 2016 PAD guidelines capture the current scientific knowledge and recommend the best approaches to preventing, diagnosing, and treating peripheral artery disease. But we still have a long way to go in improving care for our patients. For that reason, in New Orleans this year, we have planned a number of sessions intended to advance our understanding of the field. In addition to the guideline session, we have planned a joint session with the Brazilian Society of Cardiology that will examine current insights into lower extremity peripheral artery disease, a Frontiers in Science Thrombosis Summit, and a Vascular Disease Summit. And finally, on Tuesday, a main event session on maximizing PAD outcomes in 2016 will discuss much of the new science underpinning the PAD treatment recommendations. These sessions and the PAD guidelines themselves are designed to focus on the most pressing challenges in diagnosing, treating, and living with peripheral atherosclerotic vascular disease. They provide an opportunity for experts in the field to hash out in nitty gritty detail the best possible treatments for specific problems and to review what we know and what we still need to learn to ensure the best possible outcomes for our patients.